Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I wanna sit here and talk about a few products that I've been loving, products that I'm currently trying out, and also kinda of give you guys updates on the products that I've been sharing with you guys in recent videos. I know I've been doing a lot of first impressions hauls so today i just want to kind of touch base on those products whether or not i like them if they've been working for me and a few of the products that i've been sharing in my recent videos they have actually become my ride or die staples i actually have a couple of them on my face right now which i will tell y'all later on in the video but i'm excited i feel like this video is going to be pretty lengthy so grab a snack grab a glass of wine and let's get into it. Before we get too deep into the video, I have three products that I received from Elemis that I've been trying out. Actually, one of them is one that I am pretty familiar with. This is their Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And y'all know before I wash my face, I always go in with a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil first before I actually go in with the cleanser. Now these next two are what I've been trying out from the Pro Collagen Collection. This is their Marine Cream SPF 30. This is a really, really, really hydrating moisturizer. And I usually use this during the day. I don't use it at night because it does have SPF in it. So if you're wanting a moisturizer that has SPF in it, that's hydrating, that does not have a scent, this one is really good for that. And then the third product from their Pro Collagen Collection that I have is their Tri Acid Peel. Now, I use this and I started to get, I don't know if my skin was purging from the product. I don't know if, I don't know if my skin was just too sensitive for it, but I did get a slight reaction um, around this area. So I will say if you have sensitive skin, I would say get a sample first and they do offer free samples on their website. So basically this is a um, an exfoliator. It's really creamy, really lightweight. You just let it sit on your skin for a few minutes and then you rinse it off. And by the way, they do offer free delivery. So if y'all wanna try anything from the Pro Collagen Collection, I'll have a link down below in the description. You will get 20% off your full size purchase. So let me know if you've already tried these products out. Let me know what you're gonna try. So let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, those are what I got from Elemis. Now we're gonna stick to skincare and then we're gonna kind of work our way to body care, perfume. I have a ton of makeup, <laughs> um, but we'll save the makeup for last. So Kapari skincare, you guys. I remember trying this out with y'all in one of my vlogs. It was about three, almost four weeks ago. Ever since then, I have not put these down. So this is the Tropical Glow Cleanser. I have the Coconut Water Moisture Cream, and then the Tropical, not Tropical, but the Coconut Rose Toner. So all three of these are what I incorporate in my morning routine. I use these pretty much every single morning. So I'll go in with the cleanser first. I like this because it's really gentle really gentle it doesn't burn my eyes it has a really sweet scent which is not too much but it is a nice sweet scent um it has papaya enzymes coconut water um and pineapple so yeah i'll go in with this first and then after that i'll go in with the toner i love the fact that this has a spray I like a toner with a spray. It just makes it so easy. Instead of having to worry about getting a cotton pad and just wiping it on, but I'll just spray it on my face, let it sit there for a few minutes, and then I'll go in with the Coconut Water Moisture Cream. This is very, very lightweight, but super duper hydrating. These two together are a match made in heaven. I have not put these down. So I'm almost out of the cleanser. I'm actually almost out of the moisturizer too. Y'all probably can't see it because the lights are very, like it's making it washed out, but almost out of this too. So, and the toner, because I feel like it's probably like about right here, but I use these every single morning. This is my current morning skincare routine. I don't do a lot of steps for my morning routine. Now the Kapari water cream does not have SPF in it and I still like to try to wear SPF every day. So since this is so light and air, like it's not a really thick cream, it's really kind of like the Tatcha water cream. It's very thin like that, but I'll go in with this first and then I'll go on top of that with the SPF. Now the SPF from Elemis, this is also a really light cream. So using these together, is not really that bad because I mean they are pretty lightweight they're not too heavy it's not gonna make my face feel too greasy or anything like that so um, sometimes I'll go in with both of these together or I'll just use the Elemis by itself okay I want to update you guys on these two products that I shared in my Sephora haul I have the Innisfree hydrating cleansing oil and I also have the wishful get even rose oil this actually came in a set it came with a peel and it also came with the moisturizer which I should have grabbed um, for the video, but the moisturizer is very, very different for me. I don't think I've tried anything like it. It's very 
thick, but it almost feels like you're applying like a, um, dang, I should have grabbed it. Let me, let me go grab it. Okay, this is the moisturizer. I didn't grab the scrub, but it comes in a little yellow tube. It's called the Enzyme Face Scrub, um, which I am enjoying still. I've used it three times in total, but I am enjoying it. I just don't use it every night. I probably use it like once or twice a week, but um, yeah, this is the Wishful Honey Balm. This literally feels like you're rubbing a lip balm on your face. Like it's really thick and kind of, uh, how do I even describe this? It's a really, really thick, I don't want to say greasy, but it does feel greasy to me. <laughs> I'd say it's thick, it's greasy. Like it feels like I'm rubbing a lip balm or grease on my face. And it also kind of leaves a, like a, a purple tint. I honestly can do without this. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Um, but I will say if your skin is really, really, really dry, then you would probably really like this. Um, I would not wear this under my makeup because it's so thick. It's so dewy on the skin. This is something that I would wear at night and that's it. <laughs> not during the day, just at night. But I just want to kind of update you guys on that. But the oil, I like. I really, really like this. I use this as the very last step in my skincare routine. So after I put my serums on, after I put my moisturizer on, I'll lock all the moisture in with this oil. And the main thing I like about this is when I wake up the next day, my skin looks healthy and glowy and fresh. Like it doesn't look dried out. It doesn't look too greasy. It just looks really healthy and just, I don't know. It just looks good. And then going back to the Innisfree Cleansing Oil, I mean, y'all can see here, I obviously love this stuff. Look how much I've used it, and I just hauled it with you guys during the Sephora sale. Um, it's hydrating. It says on the front, it's a hydrating cleansing oil with green tea. So when I put it on my skin, it melts everything off. So if I have makeup on, I'll use it even on the days when I'm not wearing makeup. I still like to go in with this before my cleanser because it does break down all the dirt, all the oil and it's really, really hydrating on the skin. So if you have dry skin, if you're on the hunt for a cleansing oil that's not gonna really strip the skin, it's not gonna dry out your skin, this one's really good and it smells amazing, amazing. If y'all tried the um, the sleeping mask, which I know I have shared with y'all and raved about with y'all, um, it smells just like it, just like it. So smells good, does a good job with cleaning the skin. It's just amazing. I feel like I've already talked about this wash with you. I know I have, but I feel like I've already shared it in a favorites video, but honestly, I don't even care because it's just that good. So I wanna talk about it again. But it's the Necessaire The Body Wash Eucalyptus. This stuff right here. If you wanna feel like you're in a spa, get this. I've recently been using this with my Caudalie Body Scrub. This is the one that I shared in my recent Sephora haul and look at this. Girl, I'm almost out of this already. <laughs> These together, I promise you, if you wanna, like if you want your bathroom to smell like a spa, if you wanna feel like you're at a spa, these you need. Another body care product that I have been obsessed with y'all is the Sephora All Day Hydrator. This cream is so thick and luxurious, but it's affordable. I remember um, trying out their body scrub and for some reason they, I guess they stopped selling it. I don't know what happened, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. But after trying the body scrub from the Sephora collection, I wanted to try something else out. So I tried this out and I love it. It doesn't have a, like, it smells like a lotion. Like, I don't know. A, uh, I don't know what lotion, like what brand it is, but it smells like something I used to use years and years ago, and I love it. I love it, like it doesn't, uh, it, I can't even describe the scent, but it's really fresh. It's really, really, really fresh, and the scent lingers. Like it does not fade away once you put it on, especially after you get out of the shower. If you put this on right after the shower, you are, uh, girl, it just, I can't even describe how good this smells. It's very, very, very fresh. Um, and that's the best I can do is <laughs> really fresh. Okay, I don't know if this really works, but I have been enjoying it. It's the Slip Sleep Mist. This is supposed to help you sleep, but 
honestly, I just like it because the scent. <laughs> it smells so good and it just, it does relax me though. It, actually, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to relax you. Yeah. <laughs> it says spray hot in the air to create a calming environment for sleep. Lay down, breathe deeply and relax. Okay, so it does do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Um, it says repeat as needed. Tip, do not spray directly into your slip, um, slip, pure, uh, slip, pure silk pillowcase, which I don't, I don't spray this directly on my pillowcase. I just spray it in the air. And this is probably the only thing that I would purchase from slip because all of their stuff is expensive. Their pillowcases, their, their hair stuff, like their scrunchies, they're pretty pricey. But this right here, I'm glad I purchased it. So. so I have a new perfume that I have been spraying every single day. This has become my every morning, like my morning routine. It's been incorporated in my morning routine. This is the one, it's called um, Kayali, and it's the vanilla one. Sweet, warm, vanilla, this is that, and it smells so good. So I've just pretty much been spraying this in the morning times, and um, yeah, so wanted to share that. Let's talk about a room spray. I have been obsessed with room sprays. I have purchased maybe like six different ones while quarantined, but this one is by Nest and the fragrance is linen. I wish y'all could smell this. I wish y'all could smell this. This, oh my gosh, like it's almost like something that I would actually wear. Y'all know I'm, I cannot give a good description on scents, but believe me when I say this is the most fresh, soothing, I always say that, soothing, fresh, sweet, <laughs> but it smells so good and it smells up the entire room. I read a review on here on, um, Ult not Ulta, but Sephora and the the review said it doesn't last like the scent doesn't last but this lasts it lasts I spray it in the bedroom I spray it in the bathroom like this lasts so they have another one called grapefruit but I felt like I wouldn't like that one so I wanted to give this a try and I have been obsessed 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 <laughs> with this room spray so um yeah and you can get it from sephora and then of course off of their main website but again it's the nest new york linen room spray now let's get into the makeup i want to talk about the products that i have on my face right now first starting out with a primer if y'all have been watching my channel like my videos recently you know i have been talking and using this stuff non-stop it's the huda beauty water jelly primer i have this and the foundation stick on my skin right now i cannot get enough of this foundation stick. Honestly, it's the only foundation I've been wearing ever since I tried it. So all the videos that you guys have been watching this month, well, dang, when is this video gonna go up? Um, <laughs> all the videos that you guys have been watching ever since the review of this foundation, ever since I put up this review, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing this, unless it's a, um, unless it's a other, bleh, unless it's a other, what? Okay, it's time for me to stop. It's time for me to be done for today. <laughs> Unless it's a different review video. So if I'm reviewing another foundation, obviously I'm not wearing this, but any other video I've been filming, any time that I'm wearing makeup, I'm putting this foundation on. So I have two shades because the first shade I tried out was 500, which I like. But after I watched Jackie's review, she used 450. She actually used both of these in her review. But when she swatched 450, I said I needed that shade immediately because it was literally, it literally looked like my perfect shade. So I did another review on the foundation and I tried out 450 and it was perfection. So yes, and this is, I'm actually wearing 450 right now, by the way, but Girl, these and this primer, everything. I will say though, if you have really oily skin, you may not like this because this kind of gives you a glow on your face. Like, I don't know if you guys can see now, and I've had this makeup on for maybe five hours already. I wanna say about five hours. So the skin is looking good. <laughs> okay, let's talk about concealers. I have one that has become my holy grail 
ride or die concealer and then i have another one that i've recently been trying out that i am actually loving so this is the chanel um i don't know the actual name of it but it's a chanel concealer and i use the shade 91 caramel this is one that i shared um in one of my testing new product videos and I loved it. So um, yeah, definitely one that I have been really liking. So I'll continue to use it some more. I'll probably use it with other foundations because really I've been using it with one, which is the Huda, um, the Huda Stick Foundation. But I've been liking it so far. So I wanted to update you guys on that. And then the Lip Bar Concealer, y'all. This is in the shade four point, yeah, four cinnamon. This is what I have on right now too. So I've been wearing this concealer with my Huda foundation. I've actually tried it out with the, um, what is that foundation? The Giorgio Armani, um, dang, what is it called? I'll have it on the screen. But I also tried that one out with you guys. Um, but I've been wearing this concealer with that. Um, well, I've worn this concealer with that because I know right now I've been wearing my Huda foundation <laughs> a lot, but and I've also worn this concealer with my um, NARS Soft Matte Foundation. So, so far, all the foundations that I've tried with this concealer, it looks really good. So I wanna update you guys on a few setting powders. This one is the Elf Cosmetics Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. I think by now you guys know my thoughts on this because ever since I tried it out, I have not put it down. So if you're wanting a powder that's really, really sheer, it's not gonna really give you coverage, but it's still gonna give you a little bit of a tint, this is what you need. I use Dark Deep as my all over um, setting powder. This is what I have on today. And they have another one is, um, what's the shade? It's called Deep, I believe, or Deepest. Anyway, that one is the one that I use as a bronzer. And I did like a full face of e.l.f. Cosmetics sharing both of those, um, both of the shades in that video. So if I can find the video, I'll have it linked down below. But I feel like something's on my lip. So yeah, this is a really nice powder. I would compare this to Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. And I think that video is already up, but I did a drugstore versus high-end video. And I say I think because I pre-record <laughs> and I don't know like exactly what day the videos are gonna go up. But anyway, I compared this one to the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and girl, this is a dupe. Okay, so another product that I have on my face right now is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. I actually recently started using this. I tried this out with y'all in one of my full face testing new product videos. And ever since then, every time I do my makeup for my videos, every time I just do my makeup, even if I'm not filming, I would put this on. So this is really good to set my concealer. I love the color of this, y'all. Let me show you. I hate how setting powders are so messy though but it's it's like a beige. It almost reminds me of my Chanel setting powder. Like the color literally looks just like it. It's not golden, it's not too, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, it's a nice beige color. Ooh, see, this stuff is messy. But yeah, I really like how it looks on my skin. I love how it sets my concealer. I mean, y'all can see, y'all can see. <laughs> it looks really good. So um, the color that I use is medium, by the way but definitely been enjoying that. So I have one more loose setting powder that I wanna update you guys on. So the one size setting powders. This is also another product that I shared in a um, testing new product video. I have translucent and I also have dark deep. Now, out of the two, I like translucent the best because I noticed with dark deep after wearing it for a few hours, for some reason my face looked, I don't wanna say olive or gray but it didn't look like it usually looked like the color of my it didn't look like it usually looked <laughs> so i don't know it's something it was it was kind of odd so i just like using this shade to set my concealer and then for the dark deep this is the one that i use as my all over setting powder you guys will see it in the video if you already watched the video but i just wanted to set my my foundation with this just to pretty much see how it looked but after trying it out more after I filmed that video I noticed that my skin after a few hours I noticed my skin like the color of my complexion was a little off so but the powder itself is bomb is really really good I never tried the one that he did with MAC Cosmetics by the way this is um, Patrick Starr's um, setting powder but well, his brand, but he did a collab with MAC Cosmetics and he came out with a setting powder with them. 
everybody was talking about it. Everybody was saying how good it was. I don't know if that's any different than this. Um, but if you tried that powder out and if you tried out the one size powder, let us know down below um, the differences because I, I want to know. I want to know if I missed out on the max, um, max setting powder. Even if I did miss out, if this is the same as that, I feel like I didn't miss out, you know? So anyway, let us know if you have tried out both of the uh, both of the powders because I'm, I'm very curious. So I have a new blush that I have been using a lot recently, which is Milani. This is their baked blush in the shade uh, Coco Felicita. And this is also what I have on my face right now. I wanted to pull out the products that I've pretty much been using the most um, and I wanted to actually wear. <laughs> the products as I talk about them. Let me just say, if y'all have been rocking with me ever since, pretty much ever since I started my YouTube channel, y'all know, well, not OGs, y'all know I love, love, love Red Vino by Milani. Now that I've discovered this, now that I have been using this, I actually like this one better than Red Vino. Now for the eyeshadow palettes, I only have three. I'm not gonna really spend too much time talking about them. I just like them because of the colors, how they look, how they blend. So one of them is the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette and I already did a tutorial um, using this. So that's that one. Love the colors, love, 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 love how they swatched. If y'all missed that video, I'll try to find it. You, it's on my channel, you can find it on my channel. And then I have the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Palette. This is the one out of all three that I've been dipping into the most because it's neutral. And if you know me, this is all that I live for in an eyeshadow palette. Just super basic neutral look, which is what I'm rocking today. I have on um, the ColourPop palette, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes. But yeah, this one is the Huda Khaki Haze, obsessed. And the other one is the ColourPop in collaboration with Raw Beauty. And this is how it looks. This doesn't have a mirror on it, but only two shimmers in this palette and the rest are mattes. Okay, so what I have on my eyes today, I have on um, Homegrown in the crease, <laughs> that color right there, and then I have Puff Ball all over the lid. I kind of mixed them more than anything because you can't really tell where the color is. I mean, you can see the crease color, but I put Homegrown in the crease and then I put Puff Ball right on the lid and then I started just using my brushes to kind of buff both of the shades together. But really love this. I like this palette for the colors. Like if I wanna go for an all matte colored look, this one is what I would dip into. And then for my everyday neutral, like a look that I don't really have to think about doing, I would dip into the Huda Khaki Haze. And then if I want more of a purpley look, the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette is what I would dip into. So these three have definitely been my go-tos. I feel like I'm always talking about brow pencils with you guys, but I wanna show you two of my favorite drugstore brow pencils as of lately. So Elf Cosmetics Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade um, Deep Brown and then Flower Beauty Skinny Brow Pencil. If you are wanting to try the Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil but you don't really wanna spend that much for it, the Flower Beauty is literally a dupe to that. It's literally a dupe. It looks just like Fenty. It has the same size pencil, it's really skinny, and then it also has the same little brush as the Fenty MVP brow pencil. Fenty is a really good brow pencil, but like I said, if you don't wanna spend the extra coin, like if you want something cheap, affordable, Flower Beauty is literally the same thing. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about lip products, Nabla. Nabla Cosmetics just came out with lip liners and when I tell y'all, they they did it with these. They did it, okay? This is in the shade um, Nude 5. This is the one that I pretty much have all over my lips right now and then I just topped it off with um, Nabla Cosmetics Gloss in the shade District. Yeah, District, I don't, it's in my drawer, but anyway, um, I have this all over the lips. Another one that I really liked is um, Nude Number Six. This is a chocolate, like a true brown liner. I'm gonna, let me swatch them. <laughs> so, so that's Nude Six, and they are so creamy, y'all. Even if I put on a gloss and decide to put on a lip liner on top, I can easily put this on. Kind of like the ColourPop liners, because y'all know those are really, really creamy. 
And then the one that I have on my lips right now is Nude 5. This is the perfect nude. Like, I know I say the perfect nude with a lot of nude lip products that I have, but literally, literally the perfect nude lip liner. You know how some lip liners like these, like this type of color when you swatch it, especially if you are my complexion, you know how it kind of looks pink? This is straight up nude. Like no pink under, like it's literally a nude. I mean, you see that. It's a, a beige brown. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's not a pinky nude. It's the perfect, perfect nude. So yeah. <laughs> So the Chanel lip gloss that I tried out with you guys in one of my testing new product videos, I wanted to mention it because I like it. It's bougie, but I like it. I love the color. I like how it's not sticky. And it's literally a color that you can wear with anything because it's pretty much a clear gloss. But it has gold shimmer, if y'all can see. Hopefully it picks it up. There's gold. I tried to wipe up, um, wipe off those lip liners, and it's hard to wipe off. You have to actually get a makeup wipe to wipe it off. But anyway, um, yeah. So hopefully y'all, hopefully the camera is picking it up. But it's a clear gold shimmery gloss, and it's not sticky. It's like really creamy and buttery. I'm gonna put it on on top of this. I shouldn't have done that because well, it didn't wipe off too much, but. It's just your typical clear gloss with shimmer in it. But I like it because it's Chanel and it's bougie and it's cute. One more lip product I want to share is this Artistry Studio, the Pampered Pout Lip Balm. When I first tried this out, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all remember, but when I first tried it out, I thought it was, I didn't expect it to be as thick as it was. So it's a lip balm and an overnight mask. I've actually been wearing this as an overnight mask instead of a lip balm because it's so thick. And when I say thick, I mean thick. Like this is not budging when you put it on your lips. Um, if you're familiar with the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, y'all know that's pretty thick too, but this right here is thicker than that. It's, it's actually more sticky than that. So um, I don't really care for it as a lip balm, but as an overnight lip mask, I love it. All right, so that is it. That is all that I wanted to update you guys on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, if you wanna check out LMS, I will have the link down below in the description. And thank you again to LMS for sponsoring this video. Let me know if I shared anything that you guys have already tried out, anything that you wanna try out, anything that you like or dislike, let me know. So let's go ahead and talk about it down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.